Hey guys, welcome to my channel where we'll be discussing family, faith, hope, and love. I'm so glad that you joined me. Let's be fed daily bread. Are you hungry? channel i hope that this message finds you doing well you have joined me on my digital journey i have been led by the holy spirit to drop your golden nuggets each and every day hello to my family hello to my friends thank you guys for joining me thank you for your support i can feel your love and i am happy that you have joined me on this digital journey. Today is day 269. Yes, day 269, episode 269. The word for today is sustain. Sustain. Do you know that God is the one who gives you strength and he supports you physically and mentally? I'm going to ask you that again. Don't you know that it's God who gives you strength and support you physically and mentally? If you have been keeping up with my episodes, you will see that I have been not falling short and letting you know how important it is to have a relationship with God. Okay? And I'm glad that sustain is one of the words because a lot of people think that they have to do everything in their own strength and in their own might and in their own power, okay? But I need you to know that God is the one who gives you the strength and supports you physically and mentally, okay? It is comforting to know that the Lord is the one who sustains us. We are not to look on our own strength to sustain us. Rather, we find that in the Lord. He is completely capable of carrying our burden. Yes, he is. And we are not capable of carrying our burdens on our own. What is sustain? The definition of sustain means to provide what is needed to exist, to hold up, um, to support from, to carry the weight, the burden, okay? Sustain means supporting something or keeping it going, okay? So that's what it means when I said that God sustains us, all right? And let's go to scripture. Isaiah chapter 46 verse 4 says, even to your old age and gray hairs, I am he. I am he who will sustain you. I have made you and arrived you. I will sustain you and I will rescue you. Okay. Um, there was another one that caught my eye. And let me see if I can find it. That one was Isaiah 46, 4. And the next one, it says, in Psalms 4, 1, 3, You have also given me the shield of your salvation. Your right hand sustains me. Your gentleness has made me great. Okay? God will sustain you. Psalms 55, verse 4, it says, God is my helper. The Lord is the one who sustains my soul. Okay? There are so many scriptures out there that lets you know that God will sustain you. If you have any doubt whatsoever, please turn to the Word of God because the Word of God is true. Okay? And he, it is a shield for all of those who come to God for protection. I'm so happy that I have this opportunity to drop you golden nuggets each and every day. Um, 
um, this is just um, something so that you would know whenever it is that you're going through um, even if you're happy if you're sad if you're having joy it's just a friendly reminder so that you can know that God sustains us we don't have to do it in our own strength in our own might in our own power we have someone that is there to support and carry all our burdens okay and that's comforting to know I don't know about you but it is extremely comforting for me knowing that God will take care of everything that needs to be taken care of my question to you each and every day is are you hungry I know that I am so let's be fed daily bread